Hey everyone, so I'm going to be talking about some physical changes that can go on with Play-Doh. So our properties of matter that we're going to look at um, with the Play-Doh, and remember these are just some properties, but these will be the ones we look at, are smell, texture, so the feeling, shape, size, and color, okay? So I have two different colors of Play-Doh. This one is yellow, and this one, even though it says it's brown, is like a bright pink red color. So um, with the Play-Doh, what I'm gonna show you is that no matter what I uh, do to it today, it is still Play-Doh. It's still Play-Doh, okay. So here's this yellow, you know, I can flatten it out into a different shape. I can make it into a ball, ish, right? Um, I can even add a different color to it. There you can see it. And y'all probably did this when you're a little younger, not now that you're so mature and old. Um, but how many of y'all did this? You used to mix the colors together. It's kind of satisfying, right? <laughs> to some of you, it's like a nightmare. Okay. But I can mix this up and it's still going to be Play-Doh. So let's talk about those properties of matter, okay? As far as the smell goes, the smell has not changed since I, you know, mixed the colors together. Um, I have a sample of the yellow from before and that pink color before, and it just smells kind of salty. If you have Play-Doh at home, um, you've smelled this smell before, but... It does have a signature smell to it, and when you smell this one, even though I've changed the color, it smells exactly the same. The texture is also the same, so that's that feeling. Again, y'all played with Play-Doh before. You know um, it's a little bit sticky, but um, it doesn't really stay on your hands that much. Um, it's kind of cold feeling. It's smooth. And this one is also that same texture. Now, the more you play with it, the more it warms up because of kind of your heat from your hand and, and that motion and moving it around. But in general, definitely the same texture. Um, as far as the shape goes, we did change the shape a lot. And you could continue changing the shape. Again, you can make any kind of shape you want. A little Play-Doh, you know, snowman or something like that. Um, I don't know, it kind of looks like E.T. If y'all know who E.T. is, old school movie reference. Um, but you can change it into any kind of shape and it's still the same substance of Play-Doh. Okay, the size. The size really only changed because I combined two um, amounts together. I had some in this can and some in this can. And... Um, Again, putting those together made a larger amount, but really nothing changed mass because um, whatever was in here and here just kind of combined into the same amount of this wad of Play-Doh. And the color did have a change. Again, we started with the yellow and the pink, and we mixed them together to now make this orange. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.